الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I welcome you back to our next class uh, today last class we discussed a noun phrase we discussed a noun phrase at length and I think you've understood all I told you on that day. I told you that a noun phrase is a group of words performing the role of a noun in a sentence. A group of words whose head word is a noun or pronoun performing the roles of a noun in a sentence. I think you know the functions of a noun. So a noun shares the same function with a noun phrase. So if you are able to digest it, you will discover that the five functions a noun performs, a noun phrase equally performs. A noun phrase, like I told you in the last class, functions as the subject of a sentence. Two, it functions as an object of a verb. Three, it functions as the complement of a subject in a sentence. Four, it functions as Object complement. Five. It also functions as a prepositional complement. So if you read the note carefully, you will discover that all those functions are the functions both noun and a noun phrase perform. Today, we want to discuss a different topic, and that is an adjectival phrase. You know I told you we have a noun phrase, an adjectival phrase, an adverbial phrase, and of course, a proportional phrase. Listen again. Noun phrase, adjectival phrase, adverbial phrase, and of course, a proportional phrase. So, we want to discuss adjectival phrase. This Money. As you can see from the board, an adjective, an adjective, you take it from that because if you don't have full knowledge of an adjective, you may find an adjective phrase difficult. As a result, we have to explain what an adjective is. A negative is simply seen as a word used to qualify a noun or pronoun. There are different types of adjectives. Adjective of size. We talk of the size of an object or thing or a person. Small, big, as in a big boy, a small child. A fat woman, a long ruler, a short boy. All those adjectives are adjectives of size. Qualify a noun. No, an adjective qualifies a noun or a pronoun. It is then adjective of shape. We also have adjective of shape. E.g. round, flat, triangular, rectangular, talk of any shape, and so on and so forth. You discover that those adjectives describe the shape of a particular thing. So it qualifies it. 
Another one, adjective of quality. That talks about the quality of a person or an object. For instance, lazy, brilliant, beautiful, good, clever, smart, and so on. Is talking about the quality of a particular thing. For instance, or a person. For instance, I can say, the brilliant boy has been awarded. The brilliant boy has been awarded. The lazy man was deprived of his. Money. Maybe they, 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 they deprive him of the money he was supposed to get after finishing a particular job. Because of his laziness, he was deprived of the money to be given. So you can say the lazy man was deprived of the money he was supposed to be given at the end of the job. So lazy in that sentence is describing the noun man. So lazy, that is the quality of that person. The boy is intelligent. The boy is intelligent. You know, intelligent there is also an adjective of quality. The adjective of age, I'm talking of new, modern, old, ancient, it is. The ancient town is far from here. The ancient town is far from here. Because in that sentence, ancient is describing the noun town. So, ancient is an adjective for age. The modern tools are useful. The modern tools are useful. Modern. Is describing tools and so on and so forth. Then adjective of color. You know we have different types of color: black, white, yellow, green, purple, indigo, pink, and so on and so forth. The black shirts is inside the wardrobe. The black shirt is inside the wardrobe. The white board, you see, the white board is better than the black. White is an adjective of color describing board. The nominal adjective, e.g., Nigerian, British, Chinese, American, and so on and so forth. The British man has traveled back. The British man has traveled back. I am a Nigerian. I am a Nigerian citizen. That is, I'm a citizen of Nigeria. Okay, etc. You can also say Chinese products. Chinese products are better than some other products around the world. So Chinese there is a what? Is a nominal adjective describing products in that sentence. So having got that clear. That is why I said, if you don't have full knowledge of an adjective, you may find the topic itself difficult to understand. I mean, the adjectival phrase. Now, what is an adjectival phrase? An adjectival phrase can be divided as a group of words performing the role of an adjective in a sentence. Okay? It also performs the role of an adjective. Remember, I told you all the functions of, uh, of 
a of an adjective. So an adjective, an adjective phrase perform the same function. Uh, now let us see the examples. The examples are one. I saw the man with a big head. I saw the man with a big head. I think you can see it. I saw the man with a big head. With a big head is an adjective here. It's an adjective. And, and that is an adjective phrase. An adjective phrase. It's not an adjective, but it's an adjective phrase because it is a group of words. If it's just one word describing an object or a person, it's an adjective. Like I said, a lazy boy. So lazy is an adjective, it's not an adjective phrase. So there is a difference between an adjective and an adjective phrase. But here you will see that we have a group of words. So that makes it a phrase. In this sentence now, you can say, with a big head, it's an adjective phrase. What does it do here? It describes the noun man. Because I told you that an adjective shares the same function with an adjective phrase. You know, it describes the noun man. You know, you can, you can ask a question. Which man did you see? The man, you now answer, the man with a big head, not the one with a small head. Example two, the man in red gown is a traditional worshiper. The man in red gown is a traditional worshiper. So in red gown here, it's an elevator phrase describing the man here. Which man? Is it the man in red and uh, blue gown? No. Is it the one in white garment? No. We are talking of the one in red gown. Yeah, you now discover that in red gown here is describing the man. So this is an adjective phrase. The man in red gown is a traditional worshiper. Example three. The woman cooking in the shed has been assisted. The woman cooking in the shed has been assisted. Which woman? The one cooking in the shed not the one inside the room. Now, you may, this one is an identical phrase, qualifying the noun woman, because it's describing the type of woman we are talking about. You may now raise a question that, why should we take this one as a phrase? Because you can see cook there, cooking there. You may, you may, you may take this one as a verb. It's a verb, but it's not a valid verb. Since it is not a valid verb, you will regard it as a phrase, not a clause. So you cannot identify this one as an identifier clause here. You, dis you, you identify it as what? As an identifier phrase. Because cooking is a father noun. Mm -hmm. So it's a wrong. Cooking. Now, you doubt thought that cooking in the shed is describing the noun woman here. That is another phrase. The next sentence. The picture showing Islamic man. The picture showing Islamic man is an Islamic calendar. It's an Islamic calendar. Which picture? The one showing Islamic man. This is equally another phrase because it describes the picture, that is the noun picture here. Which, which, uh, which picture? The picture showing Islamic man. That is another phrase describing the noun picture. So, you know, this one is the father noun too, showing. It's not the binding verb. You cannot say showing is the binding verb in this sentence. Any group of words without a valid verb is a phrase. Do you get it? It's a phrase. You cannot say because you have showing and you now regard it as a clause. No, it's not a binary verb. You know, in the first two examples, 
there is no verb at all in each case. But here, in, in example 3 and 4, we have a non binary verb there. So, number 5. The book on how to live a good life does not cost much money. The book on how to live a good life does not cost much money. Which book? The book on how to live a good life. You discover that on how to good live a good life here is uh, telling us about the book. So that is another phrase. Now you can equally raise a question here that I think this is a verb there, live. It's a verb there, but it is not a binary verb because it is preceded by to. This is to infinity. To infinity. So you cannot regard live here as a binary verb. It's a non binary verb because to precedes it. To infinity. So it's an identical phrase equally. You can't say because we have live there, you can say an identical clause. Rather, no, you can't say an identical clause. It is an adjective phrase because it's not it's not a binary verb to live a good life. So you say it's what is an endeavor phrase. Qualify the noun to. I think you are getting me. Then the next example is the child with a walking stick is physically challenged. The child with a walking stick is physically challenged. Which child? The child with a walking stick. Look at it. With a walking stick here is what? It's an adjective place because it's describing the noun child. The noun child. We are talking about that child who uses a walking stick. So the child with a walking stick is an adjective place. So with a walking walking stick here is describing the noun child. Another example, that is example 8 here. I saw a magazine treating marital life. Treating marital life. I saw a magazine treating marital life. Do you understand? So we have treating marital life as an adjective phrase. Qualifying the noun magazine. So we have a lot of examples and uh, I would like you to study them carefully and uh, get them clear. You can also uh, give another example. Let's look at another example. The old man addressing the gathering became a, pro a professor long time ago. The old man addressing the gathering became a professor long time ago. Can you see? The old the, 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 the man addressing the gathering is a professor long time ago. Addressing the gathering there is another phrase qualifying the noun the old man. The old man addressing the gathering is what? He became a professor long time ago. Addressing the gathering there is another phrase. Qualifying the noun old man. Do you get it? I think you are getting me. Now, the boss taking the passengers away. The boss taking the passengers away has been arrested. So when you now say taking the passengers away, taking the passengers away there is an adjective place. Hope you are getting me. Taking there is not a binary verb. Therefore, you cannot regard it as a verb. That is why it is a phrase. You discover that taking the passengers away is describing the noun bus. That's an adjective phrase. That's an adjective phrase. Another example I want to tell you, you can say, the, the, he passed the exam. He passed the exam qualifying him for the job. 
he passed the exam, qualify him for the job. If qualifying him is underlined, you know, is describing the exam. Which exam? The exam qualify him for the job. So qualify him for the job is another phrase describing the noun exam. You now say which exam? The exam that qualifies him for the job. So the exam qualifying him for the job is another phrase describing the noun exam. I think you are getting you discover that another phrase also qualifies a noun or a pronoun in a sentence. So I think I have been able to explain it to you clearly. I want you to understand that before you can get another phrase clearly, you must be able to know that it shares the same function with an adjective. And what does an adjective do? An adjective qualifies a noun or pronoun. And if you see a group of words without a valid verb, you should regard it as what? As a phrase. So, as you can see, each underlying, uh, each underlying uh, word in the sentence, each sentence has underlying words without divining them, starting from the first one. Do you get this now? So, they are all phrases because they don't have binding them. So, I think I've been able to convince you now that adjective phrase is a group of words which performs the functions or the role of an adjective the function of an adjective or the role of an adjective. My dear listeners, this is the convenient point at which we are going to draw the curtains on the, today's lesson. Uh, next week is another day when we shall be meeting in peace by our last mercy. Until that time, I wish you a good stay. Please stay safe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.